Bueno chicos y chicas, en exactamente 24 segundos se estrena el primer gameplay de Hogwarts Legacy Que es un juego que va a salir dentro de pronto, dentro de poquito Y vamos a reaccionar al primer gameplay oficial 3, 2, 1 Va a caer este juego, eh What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first Hogwarts Legacy gameplay ¿Por qué está? Porque tengo los subtítulos en ese idioma. Here at Avalanche Software, and we've got a lot of really exciting en stuff to show you today. But before we get into showing you the game and gameplay, I have a few wonderful guests that that I need to introduce ay, you ay. to. Uh, first up, we have our community guest host. He brings you the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. <laughs> ale, ale. Uh, he's the local Merlin conspiracy theorist. Uh, guilty as charged, yes. <laughs> One half of Expecto Go, yeah. James Whitehead. Uh, thanks, Chandler. Uh, yes, um, <laughs> I'm James Whitehead. Tienen que tener unas ganas ya de sacarlo, tío. the greatest in Hogwarts Legacy <laughs> content, and uh, I am one half of expect to go the better half uh, my wife sue uh represents that other half so um i'm excited to be here and thank you uh avalanche software for inviting me i cannot wait to go over this game like, i just gotta <laughs> say that <laughs> welcome thank you for being here uh and we've got two people from the studio Soy fan de la sudadera de Griffin, though, eh? bringing this thing together uh the magic of hogwarts legacy Game director Alan Tu, director del juego and senior environment artist and creación de entornos boston madsen So thank you for, for taking time out of your very busy schedules right now to sit down with us to help us show everybody gameplay. Uh, so what we're going to be showing you today, first, the character creator, because Ay, creador de personajes. it's your legacy. And Vamos a poder personalizarlo. you have to create yourself when you get into uh, the uh, jóvenes y bellos. So we're going to show you that character creator. Yo creo que esto es lo que más me gusta los videojuegos. And it is It's just a small tour of Hogwarts. Right? Pequeño tour por Hogwarts. Hogwarts is really big. Es inmenso, es un mundo abierto. Dijeron que no. All right, so what are we looking at right here on this screen? <gasps> um, these are your presets. So a lot like uh, other games, there's there's some initial settings that you can put up. Claro, el personaje put, uh, aleatorio para después darle tu and, aspecto. Um, just kind of get them into like the ballpark of what you want to Be who you want to be, bueno. what you want to change. Oh, Qué guay man. el menú, tío. Once you're in that ballpark, all the other tabs let you dial that in. Uh, be exactly who you want to be. It's our our goal with this is to make sure o sea, that podéis coger un personaje para partir de él y las demás pestañas yeah, son para personalizar. Yeah, they feel like they have the options in order to represent who they are and and essentially bring themselves to Hogwarts or whatever character they want to bring to Hogwarts. Qué guay. Oh my god, and options galore. Uh, do you mind if I try to put myself in here right now? Oh. Okay, 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 all right, all right. So, oh, okay, yeah, that's me, that's me. We're here, we're here, that's me right there. All right, so let's, <laughs> that's the one. We're so, pretty close, but let's like, let's look at, let's look at everything uh, okay, here. Okay, let's you know, go let's over play here. Play around with some of these options, like really. <laughs> all right, so what are we looking at with this option over here with the tab? I see face stuff. Yeah, so a lot of different faces forma de la cara y también puedes elegir por lo que estoy viendo abajo gafas el color de la piel so you can now you're just kind of getting into the details in yeah. your face shape in your skin color oh, um, and then because we knew a lot of people going right in are going to want it right away you yeah. know it's an option later in the game yeah. uh, you can collect different types of glasses put them on later uh, we give you some options right up front if you want to have glasses for your character oh man oh my gosh look at the structure of the faces with this Wow. Estoy viendo yo ya la pestaña ahí de peinados. I like that. I don't think my face is that skinny, but I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go that route. Uh, and down here ¿Las gafas? is this. Those are your glasses this there. Gla yeah. Oh, so Esas we can, son las de Harry we can, Potter. We can go Harry Potter if we want. Oh, Mira, justo. Oh, man. And this is just some of the options, I'm assuming. Yeah, uh, so through the course board. of the game, there's a lot there's a lot of different uh, options that you'll keep unlocking. Okay. So as part of kind of like gear for the character, there's lots of different classes, there's even masks. Hay máscaras kind of a lo largo del uh, juego, ya ves. I like how it's all Victorian era, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right very Such authentic. a good call, such a good call. Oh my gosh, all right, so now... El pelo. Oh my, oh, we can go fleek on this one with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I spend a lot of time here just like dreaming about my different characters. And oh what my gosh. Qué guapas las trenzas. I, the thing I'm always amazed by whenever I see any aspects of Hogwarts Legacy's character creator is La textura, just es verdad. the Está texture. Muy guapo. And like you even adding the bounce with the hair moving huh. around. Lo giras, se le los like, y eso. Está guapo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to just like, I'm not <laughs> 
And we can just go, can I go like tox purple or green a little bit? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eso es lo que yo quería, pelos de colores. This is so cool. Oh, I like that. That is cute. <laughs> okay, so uh, little behind the scenes. Qué guapo, eh, la del pelo. Yo hair, like, <laughs> way, way, way back, but was <laughs> I wanted uh, silver tips, so that was the closest I got to any color. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this is so cool! So you literally can bring yourself like it's it's a myriad of textures and different hairstyles here. All right, Qué so guapo, now eh. we're getting over here to uh, play around with. The These are more subtle options. Okay. We've got freckles, moles, um, ah, coloretes, like, uh, when it comes to your complexion, like darker eh, eyes, pecas, lunares y marcas de la de la cara. Oh, a ponerle más detalle. Qué it. guapo, tío. <laughs> with this. Yeah, I do have a bit of fun with that. And then the scars are, are Esos son marcas, are, cicatrices. You know, Harry had his own unique starts. Yeah. Scar, but you can come in with Yours. Ya ves, yeah. eso mola mucho, le da mucha personalidad oh, oh, al personaje. Wow. Qué Look guapo. I didn't even see that. Oh, those are my favorite. The, the, the eyebrow scars. Yeah, yeah. Love those. Love yeah. those. Yeah. It's a Yeah, you look kind of. No han puesto la de Harry Potter, eso no. So now we're over here. Oh, man. This. El color de los ojos. This is so sick. Ostras, qué realistas, eh? Qué guapo. Again, getting more subtle here, mm -hmm. you know, really qué brillo, like, más guay. in that face to, to really... <laughs> El color de las cejas. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how uh, revealing... No, claro, y la forma de las cejas people. también la puedes escoger. Now, just like, yeah, I kind of have a big face. Yeah, my eyebrows kind of sit kind of low. <laughs> But, I mean, literally, you have so many options just starting the game. I feel like I'm going to be here like forever. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> and then this this final tab here, this is where you kind of bring your whole character together. You know, this is where you finalize everything. Ah, que es, escoges okay, el tono de voz. That was a theory. La dificultad de la historia y el nombre. You choose voice one or voice two, which is more kind of a masculine or a feminine voice. And then even within that, changing your pitch. Ah, voz masculina, voz femenina. It's a subtle slider, but, yeah. but you can hear it. That was quite something. And so you can kind of make out the differences. But yeah, you choose which kind of voice that you want. Uh, you'll be selecting your difficulty here. For today, we'll just go normal because okay. Andrew's going to be uh, taking us through some of the experiences Fácil, with normal. Later. And we can talk a little more about difficulty, Hard yeah, with, with combat and how that plays in. Yeah, but but I think the, the important thing yeah. here is like if if for people who aren't gamers, especially, right. story mode is a way to get into this without being worried about like, oh, do I need to be good at ah, games? Vale. Just enjoy this es game. para que tú puedas jugar de, man de manera sencilla en modo historia, <laughs> sin tener que preocuparte de los duelos <laughs> con otros personajes, por así decirlo, y no tener que estar pendiente de ello y disfrutar de, de la jugabilidad. Alright, through the magic of uh, using, using a dev kit, we're going to be loading up a, a save a little later in. Um, so that we can show you more about Hogwarts and give you that taste of combat. Mm, combat right, Andrew's got some gameplay pulled up for us here. We are uh, starting out, James. There, there you are. You're wearing the house fanatic <laughs> robes uh, from the from the account linking. Thank you, thank you. I, I do look good. Uh, and this is our first look at the Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Room, I'm assuming. I mean, the, dorm room. The dorm room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dormitorio de Hufflepuff. This is awesome. Ya ves que guay. Tienes la túnica y todo de la casa a la que perteneces. Because this is our first look. Yeah. So um, right now we know there's been a lot of questions about. Uh, About, about the HUD because this is the first time we're showing it. So um, kind of going over from right to left, on the bottom right is what we call our spell diamond. El diamante de hechizos, so abajo a la derecha. Are, in it, Espacio de hechizos, spells. tenemos más de 20 espacios para los hechizos que se pueden conseguir a lo largo del juego. O sea, que vas, por así decirlo, subiendo de nivel y tienes más espacio de hechizos. Y ahí es donde el juego puede usarlos y usarlos y accesarlos de manera muy rápida. Y en el lado de la derecha de eso, se verá el D-pad, y en la derecha está un eyeball, y en la derecha está un poco de grid. Así que el eyeball es un ejemplo de un spell, pero un espacio de hechizos. Hay ciertos spells que están en un contexto muy específico, o que queremos en todos los tiempos. Y revelar es un uno de esos. Eso es lo lado izquierdo del D-pad. En el lado izquierdo del D-pad, 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 en el lado izquierdo del D-pad
magical tools no. that you're going to be uh, kind of brewing and growing over the course of the game. <laughs> and so that's where you would access them rapidly is our tool wheel. Okay, cool. Um, there are a few things that I left Ahí, on ellos. the right. Uh, the green bar is your health, and basically there's a potion next to it. That's how you might heal mm -hmm. the bar above it. We're keeping a secret for now. Es un secreto por el momento. And, uh, all the way on the left is, claro, porque la de abajo uh, es como vida y la de arriba no quiero decirlo. Where you are currently yeah. in your common room that updates as you travel through um, Hogwarts and beyond out into the world. And for those those fans out there that aren't a huge fan of minimaps because we know they Hay exist. Hay opciones para quitar el minimapa para quien no lo quiera ver. Oh, cool. Turn on or off different elements cool. okay. of our HUD. But yeah. you immerse yourself. Yeah, in, yeah. In, yeah. Vamos, que si quieres jugar sin HUD puedes jugar. We get into combat, but that's kind of, that's, that's what you're seeing there. And this is our HUD. Also, oh, Andrew's giving us a, a good look over here. I want to I want to call out. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of the bedside tables in the dormitories. Um, <laughs> very nice bedside tables. <laughs> they are nice bedside tables. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the honey colored wood was mentioned in the writing. It's part of lore. It's part of lore. There we go. All right. So now we're walking out into. We, we really tried making these low ceilinged dorms to give you that badger set. Yeah. <laughs> ya, eh, parece una madriguera los techos bajos. Eh, hasta luego, tío. ¿Qué pasa? Amazing with this. Gorgeous. And, yeah. and I'm calling out here, uh, uh, la música que escuchamos es para la sala de Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff o sea que cada sala de, de cada de cada Joder, lo diré. Bueno, me habéis entendido. Gryffindor, Slytherin y demás, de cada casa, porque no me salía, será diferente. Qué guay, pues tengo ganas de ver yo la de Gryffindor, eh, de fuego. Se vienen combates. Wow, the sound effects though. Ooh. Like looking back at the past trailers, it was just music, but kind of hearing how Hogwarts is now, it's so cool. Como suena el fuego, eh? <laughs> yeah. Andrew's gonna make use of one of our spells, Revelio. Use Revelio right here, because there's a little magic going on. Ay. Notice a little something there. <laughs> Qué bueno. Yeah. So um, these are something that we kind of interchangeably call Revelio pages. Qué guapo, pages. tío. You'll notice a bunch of things pop up on the screen. Yeah. You see that we got XP. some XP for it. Mm -hmm. And you can also see that we've advanced something called like a field guide challenge okay. up in okay. the corner. Uh -huh. So I want to talk about that a little bit. So we had to ask ourselves, what? <laughs> <laughs> Continue, I'm sorry. Continue. There may be something you may or may not be able to tickle there. Yeah. Um, but uh, in our game, we had to answer the question, you know, we're a late fifth year. What does that en mean? How curso. do we catch up to the other students? Okay, okay. And so we have an answer to that question, and, and it's given to you by the staff. So there's something that we call the Wizard's Field Guide that's granted to you early on ah, in the vale, game. Ah, vale, hay como una especie de tutorial is how, how you actually work on catching up with the other students. So, Andrew, if you hit pause for me up here, before you push forward a little bit, you can see in our pause menu, it's got this book Ooh, team. Wow. That's your wizard's field guide. And you can see your house kind of crest right, overlaid middle, yeah. over it. Okay. Right? Pues ver tu okay. casa. You can see that on your level as well. El so nivel. That, the field guide has this magical property of looking out into the world around you. Qué and guay. the reason why it's on loan from the Ministry of Magic and the professors so have cool. granted it to you as a late fifth year student is because they want it to help you catch up to the other kids. Mm -hmm. And its magical property is to discover different opportunities to learn and grow all around you. So the way it works is, as you discover gameplay in the game, it actually recognizes that as a challenge, which is kind of locked into there. Okay. And Andrew, if you go in there, 
you'll see different wanna... types of challenges that are combat challenges, wow. quest challenges, Ooh. exploration challenges. And you can see field guide pages are on there as yeah, well. Yeah, That entire category is one of the ways that uh, the book itself kind of fills out into the school and spills out into the school mm -hmm. and kind of hides itself with different types of challenges and different things to do around the school <laughs> that you're that actually going so to cool. interact with to help you grow as a wizard and practice your spells. And so that thing that we just saw is not just a field guide challenge and a way to earn yeah. XP. It's also something that uh, that players can use to learn yeah, about the school as they're traveling around. They spot these little secret facts and they can kind of play a little bit of a game discovering all of them. And there, there, there are over a hundred field guide pages just in Hogwarts. Yeah, bueno. Uh, little uh, glimpse of the great series. It's a circular staircase. All, all the portraits. The yeah. And I did notice the flu flame just ignite right there, which was so cool. Yeah. Oh man. Fast travel points there. House hourglasses. We had to. <laughs> I, I, Oh, uh, los relojes de arena de las casas. They're gorgeous, but, but that they're there just like in the books. Yes. Right next to the Great Hall. It's a nod to lore. Yeah. House points. So, if you look in the heads, there's an animal of each house. We didn't turn it into like a, a gameplay system, but it's definitely present throughout our narrative. And, and there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And there are lots of choices where we want to nod to the fact that we're going to be using the house. And just kind of like, ah, ah. No. Cool, cool. Mira otra de las hojas. Another collectible page, you know, just again showing you like just these things around Hogwarts that you can do and pick up and. Qué guay, tío. Straight from the trailer too. Just that part right there, I I recognize that. Might be giving you a little fan service here with with callbacks to those. So. And this must be summertime because I know these are the summertime windows. These windows will change with the seasons. Yeah, the las ventanas cambian con las estaciones. I get surprised by bueno, claro, that. Bueno, claro, supongo que en invierno <laughs> nevará. So. <laughs> oh, man. Qué guay, tío. And we're going out. Look at that. This is where the students would normally kind of congregate just to kind of chill out, play, meet each other outside the Great Hall before and after meals. Qué bueno, tío, el exterior. Qué bonito, tío. I, I, I Qué guapo el castillo. Qué guapo, tío. Castle interconnects to uh, that it interconnects outside, inside. There, there are pathways on both sides of things, so you really get a sense of scope yeah. to, to how big this castle and, is. And when you see things like you'll, you'll notice a bridge over there. That's a place you can go to and cross. Like yeah. everything is everything that you see is a place that you can visit. Wow. Qué guapada, so, tío. We put a lot of effort in making it feel really alive. Um, not just with student population, but even just the greenery and stuff. It's Scotland. Yeah. And this castle's been here for hundreds of years. So just kind of <laughs> the moss yeah. and all the trees that have overgrown it. And oh my gosh. That landscape, that this Scottish. See, it's my Scottish. familiar to you? Um, I thought I recognized it. I believe this is from the spring ASMR. And yes, so that puzzle right there, that view, uh, Andrew is. Taking us right back to I'm that. I'm going to tell Andrew not to interact <laughs> with that puzzle and to keep moving on. No. We can't spoil everything. We can't give you everything, right? Hogwarts so. contains a lot of secrets. <laughs> Nos dejan con la miel en los labios. Oh my oh, god. But this is uh, th this grand entryway right here, coming down into uh, a really kind of central area. Yeah, we're coming upon the central hall, and we pointed out the greenhouse outside, mm -hmm. and, and we'll notice when we get down there. Están todas great. las paredes animadas y todo, tío, los cuadros. Big hub of the school, like it, it's a big castle, but um, it is designed so you shouldn't get very lost. This is kind of a grand central station. Mira, mira, mira los cuadros. I love that. that I love each that. direction, you know, it's green over there, so the greenhouse is over there. Transfiguration courtyard, you know, library straight ahead, so it's kind of a the hub oh my God. of a lot of the castle. Yeah, Even the color, visually, you can just tell, okay, green, oh, green greenhouse, light, oh my God. I should, a lot of it will be subconscious, but yeah. it, it'll help you really feel, learn the castle and Mira feel trabaja. like you know your way around. That's, that's not to say that it's easy to learn. All of us here still get pretty lost in it, <laughs> it on a daily a basis. It it's a castle. <laughs> it's a... Great point. <laughs> I love that Andrew's uh, definitely teasing a lot of things here. I'm noticing he's swinging the camera this way and that. Is <laughs> yeah. Te lo enseña, pero no. He's got this grin on his face over there that's just like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. That statue is from the reveal trailer, that, that dragon. Oh my gosh. This is another location where the students will gather, um, you know, and just kind of chill out. Qué bonito, tío. Me gustan mucho los exteriores. Talk to somebody, get a, get a yeah. quest giver here. Ah, ellos te dan misiones. Is everything all right? Ooh. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... 
<sighs> I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. Oh, look. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. Anda. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet pues, lock, claro, te da la misión de coger las llaves para abrir los armarios. Oh. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Ya ves, te van dando pistas kind of side quest, y misiones. Really, it's a cool way to interact you with to your fellow students, with perhaps other teachers, with you know various things like that, as well as teach you some more of the secrets of Hogwarts. I think there's there's <laughs> so a little case, bit of that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So it, the students are a way to kind of like flesh out the school opportunities around it, what what we can do, and then those interactions. Uh, different interactions with different characters uh, can also offer different choice points for the player, and then some of those things uh, can can affect things game wide. Some of these affect characters' lives, uh, the ending of the game, um, and sometimes it's just about you being a little bit of a nice guy or just being a jerk. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so sure. the scale really varies, but but uh, but those opportunities exist for the player. Wow! Look at this. Qué bonito día. This is the Dada. Defense against the dark arts. Defensa power, contra las artes oscuras. Power, which, uh, th this is one of my favorite locations in in the castle. Just visually, you come in here and just the the richness of this area. Very is, iconic. Uh, very unique. To y cómo cambia la banda sonora, eh? Somebody else that we can talk to, uh, notably a, a younger student. Yeah, um, she looks like a first year or an eleven year old. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Ooh. Qué guay, pues cuando estar lo quieras. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Oh, why? I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Es un poco repelente esta, ¿no? Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Ves, esto es como otra misión secundaria, ¿no? En plan, como que tienes que encontrar los gobstones estos. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented. De quinto curso, ves, es, es como una misión secundaria que es él, vaya. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Qué guay. Snake Eso te hace interactuar por el, por el, no por la escuela, por el castillo, tío. I, I love that Está interaction guay. with her because there's so many ways that you can go with that. You can like, <laughs> you can feel for her. You can be a jerk to her. You can be like, God, that sounds awful. It sounds like you're just mean. Like, uh, yeah, and, and your opportunities to be mean there aren't over. So. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they continue. Uh, that's but a good example of the gob gobstones too. I know people are gonna ask. Gobstones, yeah. uh, gobstones playable? They, may, may, they mentioned it, right? Yo creo que sí se podrá, ¿no? So yeah, uh, gobstones is one of the things that is not. Ah, vale, vale. In the game. No se puede. Um, I know we've we've had to rip the bandaid off on a few things. I, honestly, the, it's both an it's an amazing thing on the franchise how many things about this like 
like speak to us as fans and that we want to turn into gameplay. And and there were calls that we had to make over the course of production of kind of like which things we will and won't include. Oh, in no, the yeah, but I mean, the just kind of for the overall wizard's of the chess. Yeah. Those are things it's that aren't featured. Aren't featured. Yeah. They're featured within the world. I, right? I'm glad they're mentioned. They're a part of the wizarding world. Yeah. Yeah. Every single time there was something that life. we we re, we regretted because we couldn't include it. We also tried Pero to figure out a way to make sure the narrative. Lo menos lo que han mostrado y no han mostrado todo. Kind of like acknowledge it, touch it. You know, and, and make it feel like it's definitely part of the world. And I know here too. <laughs> I, we're, I we're like, like <laughs> <you're> getting, <laughs> I was like, we're in the Fist Against the Dark Arts class. I recognize that staircase to the left where we were just at. Andrew was walking by. I also recognize the dragon at the very top. Oh my gosh! Being in a classroom, I think this is a good opportunity. Maybe I should in the dragon classes colgado. work because we've gotten a lot of questions about that. Is it mm. a schedule-based system? Is mm. it to, to tell us how classes? It's verdad, work? Yeah. So, so, um, ultimately, decided not to go the sim route. So I think like one of the speculations was: is there time of day and you know that kind of thing? Like, can I miss class at this yeah. time of day? There is a day-night yeah. cycle. Yeah. Yeah, there is a day-night cycle, but uh, but everything is very um, narrative-based, and so. There's a big mystery going on in the world. There's something happening in the narrative, and we and we essentially see it as kind of like chapters in that narrative, each chapter of which has a set of missions that you can choose between as you're progressing through the game, and classes fit within that structure. Mm -hmm. So there are mainline things that the players have to do, and then classes also appear on the side ah, as well vale, as vale, no optional things that help you ah, advance your spells. Um... It's absolutely true that classes provide all of your major tools throughout the gameplay, your spells, your major abilities. Ah, vale, tienen como cosas que hacer, sabes, pero no tienen en horarios fijos. Uh, kind of events, yeah, moments, yeah, and those missions, yeah. and then there are also additional opportunities outside of that through kind of like. Side classroom missions, essentially, where you can learn additional spells or things that you need in your adventure. Eh, no solo puedes ir a las clases, también las cosas secundarias, secundarias que hay por el castillo. And I just want to call out something that, that Andrew's been kind of showing off: uh, ways to kind of interact with the environment and just just uh, engage with the world. And you know, Una maybe down there he's sipping some tea <laughs> yeah. with the uh, <laughs> Victorian <laughs> high, you know, yeah. Yeah. high society. High society. Yeah. Yeah. And it's no wonder you like this area because we built it for like the pure bloods <laughs> and the Slytherins. Oh and... come on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, speaking of lived in, like, the sound effects again, the chatter of the communication that's happening and the footsteps, like, it just makes it feel more alive. La like gente volando las escobas, <laughs> tuvo el puente que hubo. Love that. The data tower was one example, but um, no two hallways should look the same in Hogwarts. It's a it has a lot of personality. Every hallway should be a little bit different, and that's mostly to help orient the player, right, right. help you not get lost. Right. But uh, uh, this is Hesperus Hall. That's a little nod from the Marauders, a name that came from the Marauders map. But every hallway will have a little bit of a different personality. Sí, es verdad que se diferencian, eh, las salas. O sea, no, tienen como todos la misma estética, pero no son iguales. Like yeah, it, it, gives, it does. Like Hogwarts has character. Hogwarts is its own character, no matter where you go. Yeah feels just a little bit different. Yeah. It's sentient castle full of magic for hundreds of years. Yeah. It's going to kind of and grow and develop. Of, uh, oh, I heard something. Uh, yeah. Speaking of characters. <laughs> Speaking of magic, <laughs> Mr. Magic mm. himself. <laughs> I teach our culture guys for too. <laughs> you know, we talked about building on lore too. I know there's that statue over to the side. Oh, yeah. That's Do you know who that is? Lachlan the Lanky. Yeah. And he's yeah. got his, his bow truckle friend. And, <laughs> and I think if players don't know, there's another well, Revelio sorry. page there. Yeah, yeah. there's a, a map of Argyllshire. We know the fat lady hides there. Qué guay, tío. Hay más secretos, right. pero claro, no te lo van a enseñar <laughs> todo ahora. Third ¿sabes? Third <laughs> but sometimes a, a hallway has personality by how it looks. Or we just passed a music hallway where the portraits have kind of taken it over, and um, so the sound makes it really unique. All right, I got to call this out here. I know there's been some criticism in the past that uh, our trailers and our gameplay and what we've shown so far has not had enough owls. Okay, <laughs> so here we are at the owl La room. We're looking directly at the owl room <laughs> to show you all of the owls. It's a Every, lot of owls. It's a lot of owls at the owl room. I love all the, the owls. fog rolling down that Great way. callback. Great call. <laughs> no, I also I also love that as I I one of my favorite things about just kind of going around on the outside of the school is that all those things that I see are places that I can. A la lechucería están dando a entender que también se puede entrar. That sensation knowing that that is real. That lovely Scottish countryside. We're kind of closing out our our mini tour of Hogwarts, and again, it was a 
is but a fraction of uh, <laughs> this enormous castle. Oh, uh, <laughs> but we're closing it out here in the clock tower. So another recognizable location. Uh, <laughs> Cross Wands, which is the secret, not so secret dueling club, is uh, that the students have put together. Professors definitely know about it, but they think they're being clever. <laughs> uh, and it's run by mm. this uh, Luke and Brattleby here. Who's in a younger year, but we kind of like that this, yeah, that he's running things. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a little bit of the cuarto curso. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. And this is a really good opportunity to now jump into combat because really in the game this is going to oh, be combate. The, uh, the first time where you yourself get to learn about combat and combos in a big way and in a new way. Uh, for me personally, this was where the game like really starts to open up to the possibilities. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've set up a we've set up a training dummy, and this is kind of an activity where you're supposed to execute according to kind of the iconography on the top. Now. Uh, what we see on the top is the Accio spell, Accio. followed by four, what we just kind of lovingly refer to as basic shots. Uh, Está muy guay. Uh, es como the para practicar kind of todos use, los que tienes. Kind of Andrew's using one now. And you trigger that by tapping R2 on your controller. So you mm -hmm. can see in the corner R2. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might slot. So if you okay. hold R2 instead, you can see how the diamond expands. Ah, and if we let go, you see how it contracts. Yeah. And so if con you el R2 it again, lo it abres, ves con que lo lanzas so y lo contraes expands, igual. And all the spells that you slotted while you're holding that button can now be tapped with your face buttons. Awesome. And not only that, but over the course of the game, you can gain um, additional spell diamonds, up to four additional oh. ones, so that you can slot up to 16 spells, you know, yes. pretty much instantly. And then that helped us um, fulfill the fantasy of in combat, I need to rapide, very rapidly. Yeah. And, and so you learn over the course of these events, you know, how to juggle not just the spell casting, but also it reinforces um, ooh, an understanding ooh. of another ooh, feature of the ooh. wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So you're wapo. casting spells just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again. Right. You can see cooldowns on the spells that he's using uh, on the wheel. Tiene and then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect things like cooldowns through your talents, uh, different things that okay. allow you to kind of like okay. juggle and adjust and, and wow. update those things. And so if you hold down our R2 and you tap the D-pad, it will switch between your other diamonds if you've unlocked them. And and that's how you access all those. Oh man. Yo, I'm bueno. about to get some action over here. Yeah. So this is this is a great way to kind of learn how to pull things together. Um <laughs> so you pull those combos right together. Here. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Awesome. Well done, Andrew. And that's just against the dummy, but I mean. Claro, pero contra otra persona. So that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I think now we can uh, we can take on something a little more challenging. It's going to shoot back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about uh, some more features of the combat system. A ver, combate. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Cruzadas. Ready for another round? We're on a PS5 dev kit here, so we're going to be able to kind of pause I'm the ready. pause <laughs> yeah. the action yeah. 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 and talk about what you're seeing on the screen because uh, there is about to be a lot going on. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, here you can select uh, if you want to fight with somebody else, some of your classmates. Yeah, yeah. But in this case, we're not. We want we want that action to feel a little more frantic <laughs> towards you to really get you that sense of of, uh, of combat. Ahí también puedes hacer combates contra gente. So apparently you've uh, got quite the reputation because they've got you up against. Ay, que le está otra vez. Yeah. Off the jump. Dios. <laughs> Um, so I can I can explain this uh, just because I know people are going to go into it, but we can probably just kind of jump in. Um, so uh, you're not the only one that has Protego and the ability to deflect. The enemies do too. 
and we actually play with that when it comes to the spell casting. So you notice that there are different colors. Hay escudos de diferentes colores para cada uno de los personajes. And you notice that your spells have different colors on them. So to help distintos. players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we're yeah. trying to put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are uh, um, I'm forgetting the other one, all the sudden control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, uh -huh. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break the different shields Asocian that, colores uh, a, a hechizos y combos. That way it rewards kind of like that close right. attention that right. you're paying, paying we've, on things. We've got this paused here now and you can kind of see all the elements on the screen, the, the halo around the avatar's head, yeah. each yeah. of the different shields uh, to kind of give us a, give us a breakdown of what's give going on. Give us a breakdown on. of different things that you're saying. <laughs> um, so you notice at the top uh, that we're, we're kind of like calling out which enemy you currently have targeted and yeah. their level and health and so You know, as you target different characters, you'll be able to get o sea, that puedes down. ver the, uh, la vida que tiene cuando la apuntas al enemigo. Whenever an enemy is about to an, an attack, it's it's almost like you have a little bit of a sixth sense for those things that are coming. Anda. Um, if you see the halo, it means there's an incoming Vamos, attack. Vamos, que si tienes el, el, button, el circulito default, en la cabeza es que te van a atacar. That you will be able to deflect that attack that comes in oh. and yeah. off with yeah. the Puedes desviar los ataques. And, and like hits things yeah. up yeah. and kind of breaks things off walls <laughs> too. But also, uh, if you hold the button, then it doesn't just, sí, bueno. it doesn't just deflect. It also deflects and turns around with a counter attack stupefy that actually stops the enemy and you can use that even in your combos and stuff so yeah. if you're focused on a character you know and you're you're doing your thing yeah. and someone else attacks you you can actually turn that attack into a direct attack on the person that you're comboing back into into gameplay here Andrew's gonna pretty pretty handily finish sí. these, these duelo, sí. other students off here win this duel Qué guapo, tío. Dude. Está muy guapo. Ooh. like a dance <laughs> yeah we really felt like the um, We really felt like in the movies there's almost like guapo a, están los duelos. Uh, it's kind of like a there, <laughs> there's call. this element of kind of like fencing from a very great yeah, distance. Yeah, that's a good call. And there are a lot of uh, a lot of things that we had to do with with our controls and combat system in order to kind of capitalize on that idea that's pretty unique to the Wizarding World. Yes. <laughs> well, perhaps you should try that next time. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round. They'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Get away. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. And that is more or less going to wrap it up for us for now, for what we wanted to show you. No, Character no. creator, <laughs> tour of Hogwarts. No, and, uh, enseñadnos más.